guys, it's Chloe here from Everything Dogs with Chloe and I am a dog owner to a Bedlington Terrier called Ted and a Dachshund called Woody. Um, my unique selling point for this channel is that the fact that I am a dog owner, I am not dog trained, I am not a dog trainer, um, so I am going to give you videos that aren't too complicated and are very easy to understand. So if you're new here, please think about subscribing. Don't forget to check out all the links down below and let's get into the video. So I was asked by a viewer to do a video on um, Dobermans. I think Dobermans are the most gorgeous, lovable dogs ever. Um, my cousins used to have a Doberman. He was so lovely and so gentle and they have three kids. Um, and when he was around, they had a very young baby at the time and he was just great with him. Um, they are gorgeous dogs, they are very big dogs and they are very powerful so that is not to be messed with. The lifespan of a Doberman is about 9 to 12 years. Um, they do need a lot of exercise um, and a lot of stimulation um, so agility might be quite good for them to do. I used to know two Dobermans that used to do, oh no they were what like Rottweilers but similar sort of breed. You could always do agility with them, get their brains thinking, do tricks with them. They do shed so that is something to be aware of. Um, obviously they're a big dog so they've got a lot of coat shed. So potentially your house could end up with lots of hair everywhere. So that is something to consider. Um, they potentially need grooming, um, but maybe not. Maybe just a brush once in a while. It might get rid of the hair. That's something to think about. Um, they. It says on uh, somewhere I found online that they're below average with good with children, but. I think to be honest it's down to the owner and down to the dog and down to how they're brought up. If they're brought up around children and they're a gentle and kind dog then I think they're definitely good with children. But also that being said I think any dog could be bad with a child. My dogs could be bad with children but it just so happens that they're really good with kids so I think it's definitely down to the dog partially down to the breed but also down to the owner as well um so but it might be worth looking into it a little bit more um the cost of keeping is average i mean they're a big dog so you're gonna need a lot of food the injections are gonna cost lots of money to get them neutered that's gonna cost you a lot of money um so yeah something to be aware of there uh, they're very loyal and very devo devoted to their owners. They are low maintenance because they don't need loads of grooming or they don't need clipping. They just obviously shed. Um, they're obviously could be very good guard dogs. Uh, not a lot of people like big dogs, um, so that would be ex. So that's quite good that's something to think about um but i wouldn't ever tie my dog up outside and make them a guard dog just let them bark at the door and probably s scare people off i would say though to be honest dobermans aren't ideal for first time owners if you know what you're doing and you are prepared to train your dog then that's okay but i wouldn't say it's perfect dog for a first time owner you want something that's maybe a little bit more docile um not quite so big and scary um but they are also um powerful so that is definitely something to think about and headstrong if you obviously don't train them enough so in a summary they are very good natured dogs um however they are powerful and not possibly for the first time owners or for the faint hearted. Um, they are gorgeous dogs and meanwhile always want to please and also very easy to train. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you are new here please think about subscribing because I'm just your average doe dog trainer with two dogs of my own trying to make, trying to help people out with their dogs on YouTube. Also don't forget to check out all the links down below and I really hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!